Oops, I spilled mustard that looks exactly like a smiley face on my counter. Well, no problem, I made a device that can actually pick up spills without changing the shape and then even set them down. <laughs> Let me show you how this works and what it could be used for. Years ago, I heard of a device called Swiddle that can pick things up in a solid or gel state undisturbed. So I set out to see if I could make a simple device that does the same thing. So to start off, we need something non-stick. So I went out and bought this flexible Teflon sheet. You just need to fix one end of this. So I'm just gonna tape it to one acrylic sheet. And then I'm just gonna take the other one behind it and I'm gonna push down on it like this. The problem with trying to clean off a gel like ketchup from the table is that when you try to slide something under it, the part that slides on top of the blade first is now in the way of the remaining material. So if you want to keep it same shape, you need to move that material out of the way at the same rate you're sliding the remaining blade under. The goal of the whole device is to slide the Teflon under the spill while keeping the Teflon completely stationary relative to the table. So basically all I'm doing is holding one end and then pushing the other one. Now let's see how good this works. Okay, now let's try some sour cream mixed with a little ketchup. Let's see how well it does keeping this pattern. Okay, now watch how cleanly we can pick this up. Look at that. Perfect. Even those smeared edges got picked up. Okay, so look at that pattern there, smeared on the ground. You can see it's completely smeared on the surface. Watch how cleanly I can pick it up without changing the pattern at all. Look at that. And there's nothing left below it. Completely dry, no residue on it. That is so cool. <laughs> no residue at all. And it's in that exact same pattern. See, but the problem with the single sheet method is we can't put it back now. In order to do that, we need a different mechanism. Instead of just having it as a single sheet that I slide this back board under, we need a rolling mechanism so that I can move it both ways. That's what I've done here. So basically I just have a handle like this and I've taped it in a belt and made it smooth so it can slide and you can move it forward and then place it back. So let's see if I can actually set these spills back on the surface after I've picked it up and keep the same shape. The hard part with this one is to make the edge so it's smooth enough to roll on this belt, there's not as small of a gap on the bottom so it doesn't pick it up as cleanly, it kind of smears it. Okay, now we're gonna be testing how good other things work. Let's try some really thinly sliced tomatoes and see if we can pick it up. To do this, I'm gonna be using my Kamikoto knife. I've had these knives for about a year now and they're still as sharp as ever. So thanks to Kamikoto for sponsoring this video and sending me these amazing handcrafted Japanese stilled kitchen knives made with over 800 years of Japanese technology and traditional techniques. The cool thing is they only use steel from mills in Japan using techniques perfected by generations of knife smiths. Each knife comes in these beautiful heavy duty wooden boxes which makes a great presentation if you give it as a gift. They have an array of products with a bunch of different blade lengths. All the blades have a satin finish on the handle that looks amazing. Each Kamikoto knife goes through a rigorous 19 step process that takes several years from start to finish to complete. Look at that, it's like paper thin. And each knife is individually inspected by a person and their knives come with a lifetime guarantee. They have a single bevel edge that can cut through meat like butter. The Kamikoto knives are so good, they're even being used by Michelin star chefs. And they have great customer service and their goal is to make the customer happy and respond to any of their needs. Their knives remain affordable even though the quality is so great because they cut out the middleman and deliver the knife straight to you. I've used these knives over the years with steak, tomatoes, vegetables, and no matter what, it slices through it with no problem. 
Kami Koto is running a massive Black Friday holiday sale right now and is offering my viewers an extra $50 off any purchase with discount code ActionLab. So go to kamikoto.com slash ActionLab and help support the channel today. So let's just try some spilled chocolate chips. So now this isn't a gel, we have a solid here that's spread out. Let's see if we can kind of keep the same shape of this pile as we pick it up. Nope. <laughs> Let's try it with our original method here. So the chocolate chips don't work very well. I think they have to be slightly sticky to be able to be pulled up by the conveyor belt basically. Okay, let's see if some flour works. A little bit, but not really. This device works really well for gels and liquids, but not so much for loose solids. But it does work well for those loosely sliced tomatoes and the oranges as well. But what else can it be used for? Well, there are actually a lot of application that you need to pick something up and package it without disturbing the shape. So this type of device is used a lot in packaging. Recently, I also saw this method being used for pizza dough. So you can actually pick up a pizza and put it in the oven without the risk of deforming the pizza or crumbling it when you put it in the oven or remove it from the counter. And thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing and we'll see you next time.